Hey, what's up guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the QPR career mode where, weirdly enough, Arsenal are top of the league on goal difference. How weird is that? Of course, though, we're with QPR. We're down in 11th place. We're about to take on Burnley, I believe. So a nice opportunity to stick it to them after last season. Um, also, I'm about to say something that might blow your minds. OK, so if I go into my stats and we go into goal scored, Diao, of course, I mean, he's been my best player once again. He, he, he is and he has been my best player for a while now. OK, I don't think I want to keep Scarlett. And this happens almost every single road to glory I've ever done. I get a striker, they absolutely kill it, they get me into the Prem, and then all of a sudden I kind of struggle with them. It is happening with Scarlett. And, I mean, no points, no bonus points, if you can remember a certain Nemecha uh, where we had this problem years ago, um, and I will never forget it because he was so good in my road to glory and then suddenly just didn't, do anything and that that is happening I'm telling you I'm not I'm not getting the best out of Scarlet anymore four goals in 14 games for a striker although it's a promotion season or I say promotion season it's a season where we've just been promoted I know it's not awful but Diao is absolutely running away with it this season and I think that's a problem it is how much is he worth see look guys I can get an insane amount of money for Scarlet and get a better player now I'm not saying I'm definitely doing it, but if an offer comes in for Scarlett, I might take it. And look, I, I won't lie, part of me doesn't like the fact that he's a Tottenham player. <laughs> so um, I am going to transfer list him. And you're going to think I'm crazy, and that's fine. But it is a nice thought, to me at least, to have someone fresh up front. And of course, Diao has given me that this season, um, and he's absolutely doing bits for us. But, okay, now... Also, we'll talk about goalkeepers, but Rutter. If I could get him, because basically, Diao on the left, right-footed, cutting inside on that right. I don't have a left-footed striker. Can you imagine the scenes if I had Rutter and Diao up front? Oh, my God. Just thinking about that excites me. And also, Cho, a player that I was looking at before. Um, I've, I've wanted to sign him in a few career modes now, so maybe this is the time. I'm scouting both of them. Um... Rutter, his defending is six to six. It's so broken, isn't it? Um, he is considerably more, I think at least maybe 10 million more than what we'd get for Scarlet. And his wages, of course, he's at Fulham. We just played against him. Um, they're a bit higher, but I've still got about 15 million. So there's no reason why I can't just try a swap deal. I'm going to give it a go. Just offer Scarlet straight up, just swap and let's see what Fulham say. You might think I'm actually getting a worse deal here. Maybe Scarlet's potential is sky high, but Rutter, I think, suits my game a little bit better and he gives me something uh, something else, which is left-footed. Two up front, one right, one left. It's, it's what I want. So I'm going to try and see if we can make it happen. Straight swap. I wonder if we can get this done. <laughs> That's a straight no from silver there um okay goalkeeper wise i don't know guys i've been thinking about it and i mean you would have seen them there let me just i'll talk about it now while we're here trafford is probably the only other goalkeeper i'd consider at this point travers nah see i'm i'm, I'm not interested in travers but i just couldn't find many others trafford i'd be interested in but really we'll scout we'll scout him and let's see how good he is. And we're actually about to play up against him. Uh, we've got an offer here for Rankin. There's no way we're letting him go. I quite like him. I do. I like him a lot. Oh, we can't be the international manager for Iceland. That's a shame. I really wanted that job. <laughs> right, okay. Burnley. Again, I've got a lot of tired players just struggling to keep everyone fully fit at the moment. We're going to go with Jelovic and Skelly. Do we rest Mumba? Do you know what? I'm going to put Vale and moving forward. I quite enjoyed that at the end of the last episode against Fulham when I was trying to get a, a last minute equaliser. I did exactly that. I brought on Elliot, I think it was, and put him as a right wing. Cannon can cover that whole right side. He's rapid. So I'm going to give this a go. Actually, no, no, no. Giles is going to get his debut as well. 
I mean, Giles is quick as well, by the way. Very quick. He's done really well there. It's going to be a foul. Let's see if we can get a good cross in. It's not bad. Not the best. Out here to Cabral. Haven't scored with him in a little while. Zarari against his old club. Oh! Now, that would have been a, a shock return. Scoring within five minutes or so. Good delivery. Diaz there. And there it is. We've scored five minutes later. It is an assist for Zarari, and it's another goal for Diaw. This is why I'm strongly considering it. Imagine if I can get another striker as prolific as him. It doubles, pretty much, the amount of goals I'm getting because Scarlett just isn't performing at a good enough level at the moment. By the way, guys, Trafford isn't even starting. They've got Muric in goal. Interesting. Oh, no. Good save. Very, very good save. But yeah, we need to uh, look into that clearly because Trafford, I would estimate, is probably... Oh my God, another good save. Oh, why am I talking about goalkeepers when he's doing this? <laughs> but I'm, I'm guessing Trafford is probably, what, 76, 77, maybe a bit higher than that. I mean, it, it would be an upgrade, whether I like it or not. It's just, um, for some reason, I just feel like I should be trusting my gut and just letting Cox play. The other thing to think about as well, I can't get a striker and a goalkeeper. I don't I don't think I can do that. I won't have the money. So I guess it'll come down to how how good Trafford really is. Because I don't think there's another league or another goalkeeper that I'd be interested in. I want to get Trafford, if anything, you know. Well done, Jelovic. Again, just stepping in and getting the ball back. He's been brilliant in this game. Now here goes Giles. Through for Zarari. He's got one assist already. Can he get a second one? Let's see. Or could he get a goal? I don't think so. Not from there. Shipping it into the box for Diaw. <sighs> Probably wasn't the right thing to do, was it? Last bit of action before the break here. Skelly's on that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to stop him from clearing it. And that is half time. Don't foul him. Especially not now. He's in the box. Oh, I cannot, I cannot get close enough. No, no, no. <sighs> I got wrong-footed. Completely wrong-footed. And Amduni, a player that I looked at, of course. If he was left-footed, I'd probably look at him a little bit more as well. But uh, I'm pretty sure he's right-footed. But either way, we've just given away an equaliser. Always shooting myself in the foot, aren't I? Oh, nice. I didn't even do that tackle. Skelly! <sighs> Maybe I should have squared it. I don't know. All right, corner coming in, and I'm aiming for that six for eight giant. It's going to Koulibaly, though. It's headed out. Please win that. Nice. Here's Vale, who I'm probably going to take off shortly. Zarauri. Back post. Oh, not a good delivery. There we go. Another tackle from Skelly. Scarlet. Oh, no, he didn't just do that. He is a lethal finisher. I, I just feel like he hasn't been getting enough opportunities. Maybe it's it's a me thing, or maybe I just don't like the fact that he's Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scarlet. He has been my Starlet since the start, really, isn't he? And then Diaz just kind of come in and replaced him. But there's nothing wrong with Scarlet. There isn't. I'm just trying to convince myself of a reason to splash the cash on a brand new striker. But there's a genuine reason there. I do want I do I do want to do it so we'll see what happens. Fair play to Skelly as well by the way. He is having a huge second half performance. There he is again winning it back. That didn't just take, no no it I can't believe that. I genuinely cannot believe what I've just seen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys are screaming at me right now, aren't you? Get Trafford. Get a new goalkeeper. What was that? Oh. <laughs> He's been so good though. But I can't I can't have that. That's insanely bad. I've just brought on Correa. And here we are picking out what a turn. Finish it. Wow. He is a technician, all right. He is absolutely brilliant. That is quite literally his first involvement. What a game we've got on here. I 
dread to think what happen what's going to happen in the next 10 minutes. Hopefully, we're not going to concede anymore. But maybe we can score again. I'd love a fourth goal. Oh, God. Don't foul him. Don't foul him. No. Slide. And that was it. That would have been 3 all. Do I just hold on to it or do I go for it? I think we go for it. Giles. He is so pacey. Whipping it in. Good ball for Correa. Oh, wow. I think he probably needs to score that, doesn't he? Right, well, hopefully I've used up enough time here. They shouldn't get another opportunity if I can win the ball here, win the header. Yeah, Koulibaly's always got that. Oh, my God, Zarari. What was that turn? Just win it back. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Ref, thank you. That's a big win. I could have easily conceded that shot, 3-0, and we're dropping points against one of the worst teams in the league, so I'll take that. I haven't done a press conference in a little while, so as usual, quickly answer all three questions. Make sure the answers are quote-unquote correct without even reading them. And there you go. Team Morale happy, and Richards, who was unhappy, is now content. That's all they're good for. Yeah. Um, okay, have I got an offer? No. I was hoping maybe I would. Giles was brilliant. Doig, don't worry, you're, you're, you're fine. Correa, fantastic when he came on. Further proof that I don't necessarily need Scarlet. And there's even further proof that Diaw is top scorer. All right, and there we are. Napoli, 27.7 million. Um, that's on the low end. I think we could easily get into the 30s, couldn't we? Let's see if Napoli will come up to kind of like the 33, 34 kind of range. I, I doubt it, but we can try. Who have they got strikers-wise? Oh, yeah, let's go with Ossimen. What do you reckon, guys? Can we get him in? <laughs> okay, transfer fee. I will ask for 33 and a half because I would genuinely accept that. I'm guessing they're going to storm out. Oh, maybe I could have got a tad more, but being genuine, I probably would accept 30 because I think that's all it's going to take to get Rutter. So we'll see if that goes through. We've got an FA Cup game against Everton shortly. Oh, another offer coming in. Ooh, I've just been offered Yuri Telemans, career mode legend, plus one million. <laughs> Reject. Not interested. I could have maybe offered straight up cash instead but i would rather sell him to napoli let's get him out of the league all right and there we've got a transfer offer for dial oh my god but a scout report on rutter he's 81 rated yeah i mean elite player absolutely elite i want him and wow trafford he's i think he's gonna be a lot more expensive than i anticipated um, by the way, I discovered this guy as well, Lorenzo Colombo. I don't think he's what I'm looking for, but maybe in a future career mode um, could be an interesting one. But uh, Cho, not too convinced about. I think Rutt is the one. He's the one I want. Oh, him and Diao up front. Let's see what the offer is and who it's from. Hoffenheim, 38 million. Get blocked. Get out of here. Even if it was 60, I'd say no. Have I actually just done that? The player that took us to the Premier League, kind of. I mean, season one, Scarlet was fantastic. Season two was very good, but Diaw actually eclipsed him. And now in the Premier League season, meh. Oh, well, we're, we're rid of Tottenham players now, and he can go and ball out in the Italian League. I'm sure he'll do very well out there. He is a good player, but we got an A offer. I guess I couldn't have got much more. Yeah, ridiculous. This this thing is broken. Ignore that. There's no way in a million years I would have got 39 million. It's a load of rubbish. But with him gone, that of course means Correa will take his place for now in the team. And Sacco will go on the bench. But that is where we put big boy Rutter. Giorgino, is it? George, George, it's not Jorginho Rutter, is it? It, it, it is Jorginho Jorginho. So we're looking at 34 million. Effectively a straight swap, but the wage is definitely higher. No idea how expensive Rutter is. Uh, Rutter? How expensive Trafford is. Okay, I'm going in. Fulham, come on. I know you're one of my rivals this year, but we, we, can, we can come to a deal, I think. 
I'm just going to put in 30. Starting offer. 40. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. 33. You can have the 283 quid. <laughs> Is that going to be even remotely close? What? Cheeky. So cheeky. They came down so low. I thought that that was never, ever in a million years going to go through. And he was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> How does that make any sense? And you're telling me this isn't an upgrade, by the way. Scarlet has left for, what was it, 34? And I'm getting rutter for, let's say it's, it's literally a straight swap. It's just more on the wage. This is an upgrade. It is. I don't care what you say. And I'm not saying he'll score more than Diaw, but he will definitely be better than Scarlet. Five-year deal. Crucial, of course. Don't need a release clause. Oh, yes. He's willing to come down quite a lot. Let's do that. 50 grand. 480 up front. 56. Ooh. I reckon we can get him down to 55. Let's go. 55,000 per week for an 81-rated 23-years-old striker with Premier League experience now as well. It's done. How have I just done that so easily and quickly? He's getting the number 10 shirt, by the way, because... He can play as a cam as well. He's a creative striker. I know Leeds fans might agree with me that sometimes he's better behind the striker, as far as I've seen. So we'll we'll see how he gets on. He actually reminds me a little bit of what I brought Correa in to do, and that is be the link-up striker. But he's going to be lethal in front of goal as well. He's faster, stronger. He's got better shooting, better passing. He is the overall upgrade package from Scarlet. Tottenham scum. <laughs> And there he is talking to Doig and De Silva, I think it was. He's got the number nine shirt on here, but I think I'm going to give Dial the number nine shirt from next season. He's got the number 19 at the moment and Jorginho can have the number 10. I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> £283. Oh, I completely forgot I gave the 10 to Zarauri. I forgot about that. All right, so Rutter is going to be the number nine. That's fine by me. And then um, maybe next season we'll swap them around a little bit. I think Diaw should get the number nine, although I could end up still using him as a winger and a number nine on the wing. Nah, doesn't look right. I'm just obsessed with player numbers and player boots and stuff like that. You guys know that. So there we go. 28.5 was added to the budget and I spent 32, something like that. Really, really good deal. Um, and technically, I still have money left over. Seven million. If I transfer off a Anang, maybe I could get a good price for him, my backup goalkeeper, and then get Trafford. But I think the odds are that Trafford's going to be well over 10 million. He looks good. His kicking is between 80 and 90. I mean, that's pretty top level. Looking at that, he, he's going to be in the high 70s. Let's go ahead and start Rutter in his first game. Let's compare him with Diaw. So Diaw is obviously the better player in general, but passing and dribbling and physical wise. And I mean, they've got the same skill moves weak for, oh man, they are going to be such a duo. The dynamic duo up front. Zarawi in behind, Skelly's there as well. Uh, Mumba's back in. Yeah, I'm just going to go with this team here. This is the FA Cup. So I would very much like to win this. And there he is, brand new signing. First impression, Leeds. And then Fulham, obviously he was at Hoffenheim before that, before he joined Leeds. And now he's at the mighty QPR. Debut against Everton, he will score. I haven't quite got him his first touch yet. Here we go. Little dinked ball over the top. Wow, that was so good. He's well worth the 30 plus million I paid. <laughs> Here he is again, into De Silva. Through for Doig. That was a little bit too close to Patterson there. Can I win it back? That is definitely going to be a foul. But yeah, so far, Doig's been incredible. I'd say easily worth 60 mil. <laughs> I'll be saying that at the end of the season when he's bagged in 20 goals in, what, 20 games. I wonder how good Rutter is at free kicks because I, I don't have a free kick taker and I still don't. Uh, I'm going to go with Diaw here. Let's see if we can just bend this over the wall. Do you know what? This isn't a bad area. Go on. Go on. Oh just over the bar. I guess that is definitely something I need to look into. I need a really good free kick taker. Here is De Silva now. Into Diaw. 
That's got to be a foul. Danzo's taking him out from behind. I would have liked a red. It was never going to happen, but <laughs> it would have been nice either way. And I think we're too far out to shoot, really, aren't we? Well, you know what that means. Pass it out short. Rutter. Outside of the left boot. Who thought that went in? He's behind me. Can I pick him out, maybe? Yes, I can. Hit it. Oof. Okay, I might be trying extra hard to try and score with him, but he's good. He's, he's very good so far. Zarari with the corner, though. Skelly, what? You're six for eight. How are you getting beaten in the air like that? That's embarrassing, mate. Oh, and he's injured. Fantastic. De Silva. We know he can hit them at defenders. <laughs> and then losing it with the header as well. I hope it's not a serious injury. Being without Skelly would be a, a real problem for me. Can anyone stop Diaw? I don't think so. Oh, actually, hang on. He's running out. <laughs> Still going here, though. No one can stop him. Cross coming in. Oh, Zarari, that would have been absolutely sublime. Unfortunate. I think I might go short here, which is mental considering I've got such a tall team. <laughs> Back into Zarari here. He's got freedom to run into the box. He's going around one. Oh, why? Why? I don't understand that. They probably could have easily just whacked that out instead of making the save like that. Go on, Diaw. It's just not falling for me today, is it? Oh. Go on, Skelly. Not a bad attempt. And the good news is, it appears he has ran off his injury. So we won't be needing to take him off at half time, which is an absolute bonus. Here's Diaw. Try and put it through for Rutter. Now over to Zarari. Has he got the finish? Yes, he does. And we have equalised right as we go in at the break. And it is an assist for Rutter. And it's another goal for Zarari. Good turn. Zarari. Got to have a shot, haven't I? I mean, it wasn't awful. It's been a pretty good start to the second half, to be fair. Everton have not done anything. So if we can keep this up, I think we'll be the favourites to turn this around and actually get the win. As if that's gone in. As if. Wow. What a header. Would Trafford have saved that? <laughs> that's my first thought. Oh, Zarari. Just play on. Okay, now can I have the free kick? That's going to be a free kick for them, is it? No, it's for us. I'm surprised. That could have actually been a free kick for them. Oh, it is. <laughs> Big chance here. Rutter's in. Debut goal and assist. You know it is, even with his right. Four-star weak foot. You've got to love it. And that probably is going to be the first of many goals between Diaw and Rutter. I think they could be an insanely good partnership. Two all, and we've got about 15 minutes, including injury time. We can still win this. Bit of space here. Look at that. Into Diaw now. Into the box. Hasn't quite worked. Got it back again. Lost it. Got it back again. Come on, Mumba. Actually, that works. We'll give it to Rutter. We'll turn. Here we go. Into the box now. Good ball. <sighs> Honestly, this game could really go either way. Everton have had some really good chances in this second half, but I would say, in general, we probably deserve to win this. And we still could. Oh, Zarari, if he gets a better touch there... If the ball was just a little bit better. Oh. Oh. If only they made a little mistake there. So is that a replay or are we going into extra time? I think it's a replay, isn't it? It is. Unfortunately, though, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I have run out of time if I'm going to get this up for 7 o'clock. So right now, 10th in the table and we're playing Titans Chelsea in 9th. <laughs> in the next episode. So that'll be a good one. Really happy with the start that um, Rutter has made. Let's put him into the team permanently here. So we need to go ahead and put Sacco on the reserves. Just, just tidy this up a little bit. So Anan could still potentially be included in a swap deal. But um, we'll see. I think, I mean, when you look at the ratings of my players, obviously Skelly and Mumba, very good players, but they are a bit lower. And then there's even lower and that's Cox. So we'll see. 
I'll let you guys know in the next episode what the plans are. Have I got enough money to include maybe Anang plus cash to get Trafford in or do I sell Cox? I, I don't know. I just don't know what to do.